All right, here with Ken Rudolph. And Ken, uh, for you, uh, we were talking with Bill Melton. First of all, as, as an organization, you guys have one of the strongest alumni organizations in, in maybe all of sport out here. Yes, yeah, so this is actually, I think, our 21st year of our Major League alumni having uh, an event, a charity event, plus a clinic and the golf tournament that we have on uh, you know, tomorrow. So, yeah, we're, we're pretty uh, solid, that's for sure. Once a ball player, always a ball player. You keep tabs on the team all year? Oh, sure. I mean, you know, I'm just a avid fan now because you know, I can't, you know, I'm a high school baseball coach, so I still stay active with the game. And, you know, I, I work with the Diamondbacks here locally in the summer, so I, I'm always in the game. Is it? I, I asked some of the other guys this. Is uh, Guys don't seem to know the history of the game as much. You have some students of the game, but when you guys come around and everything, do you find guys uh, that you really have to inform them about what you guys did for them? You know, it's just different. I mean, like you, you probably in the sense that they don't know the history, like you said, the Henry Aaron or Berto Clemente, Willie Mays, you know, the old timers, you know, sometimes I, I know I talk to the young guys and they go, well, who's that, you know, and of course you Hall of Famer, no big deal, you know. And sometimes along the way, but then in the same token, there's a lot that do know it. I mean, the thing about the game that you want the young players to do is, is respect the game. When you hear a young player talk about that, that's, that's I think, the key to it is that, you know, you respect the, the, the opportunity to come out on the field and to play in front of the fans and, you know, and just respect the game because it's difficult. That's why there's so much controversy now about steroid use and all that because did they really respect the game or did they respect themselves, you know, and trying to take advantage of what they feel would be make them better, so. That's how you look at that. As a high school coach, uh, you get a charge at really seeing the light click in these kids' heads when you're teaching them and instructing them and, and watching them mature as not only, like you say, on the field but off the field. Well, in high school, I, I guess the key word is patience. I mean, yeah. you know, you have to have a lot of patience because the, the learning curve is a little different. And you know, the play, I, have a, I always seem to have a few players that are pretty good that can play, and, and those young players always seem to have a goal and a direction. And the other ones that are in high school just want to play, they just want to play. So you try and broaden your, you know, teaching techniques to encompass the whole team, and then you, know, you still work with the ones that have goals to, you know, play college ball. And this year I have a few kids that want to play college ball, and, and we'll do quite well so it, it, it just varies but the, the key to all of them is they have patience you know that they're, they're not the, the retention value is not as you know great with a lot of them that you, you expect it should be